Whenever I see a bare wall, I see it as an opportunity to create something fun. This is a very well used eating kitchen for a young family with two children, so putting art on the walls would probably just be in the way of those sitting on the banquette. I decided that the best way to add big impact to this corner would be to create a large scale, very graphic design on the wall with paint. I began by sketching out a rough pattern of the design I was thinking. A big high contrast linear design reminiscent of an abstract painting. The first thing I did was frame out my whole work area with painter's tape. This helped set some boundaries to my design and helped me visualize my canvas. Then came the fun part. With my scotch blue painter's tape, I taped out my first and biggest stripe. I was then able to quickly tape out all my other stripes while referring to my sketch to make sure my composition was just right. And if I made a mistake, the tape was actually really forgiving if I had to re-angle my lines. I had to cut my painter's tape to create some sharp corners, but it was really easy to do with an X-Acto. The key thing to remember with this design is to visualize the negative space versus the painted lines to make sure that everything is in balance. Taping out my whole design only took 30 minutes, and then I was ready to paint. A small roller and a quart of paint was all I needed. Because I used the wider painter's tape, I found I was able to roll on my paint really quickly without having to be too careful along the edges. I liked that I didn't have to worry about how my roller hit this tape because I knew at the end I would have a nice clean line. I was really excited because I could see it taking shape after even the first coat of paint, but I knew because it was a very dark blue that I would need a couple more. Two more coats in less than a couple of hours and it was time to peel that tape off. The reveal is always the most exciting part. The tape came off cleanly, easily, and without leaving a film or damaging my walls. In only an afternoon, we added energy and style to this room. Lastly, we added a few cozy and colorful accessories to finish off the room. This corner of the room used to be a blank canvas, but now it's the main attraction of this kitchen. All it took was a roll of tape, a quart of paint, and a little creativity.